Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be working with a function. We have f of x equals x over x plus 1 and we're going to find f of 3x in terms of f of x. I'll be presenting two methods, let's start with the first one. Alright, so I have f of x and I need to find f of 3x. So let's go ahead and evaluate f of 3x f of 3x means you are going to replace x with 3x in f of x. So everywhere you see x, you're going to replace it with 3x. So it's going to be 3x divided by 3x plus 1. Great. Now, this, this is not the answer because we do want f of 3x in terms of f of x. So on the right-hand side, I need to be able to replace x with something in terms of f of x so that I can write f of 3x in terms of f of x. So in order to be able to do that, we need to work with f of x. Let's go ahead and work with f of x. So if you cross multiply, you get, so let me rewrite it, f of x is equal to x over x plus 1. And then we're going to go ahead and solve for x here so that we can replace x in f of 3x with something in terms of f of x. So let's go ahead and solve this equation for x. How do you do that? You cross multiply x equals x f of x plus f of x. Since I'm going to be solving for x, let's go ahead and subtract x times f of x from both sides and then factor out x. That's going to give me 1 minus f of x equals x f of x. x times 1 minus f of x equals f of x. And then from here, I can solve for x. And x can be written as f of x divided by 1 minus f of x. So that's pretty much what I'm going to use. This is x in terms of f of x. And now let's go back to f of 3x and replace the x in f of 3x with this one. So let's rewrite f of 3x. f of 3x can be written as 3x over 3x plus 1. Now let's go ahead and replace x with what it is. That's going to be 3 times f of x divided by 1 minus f of x. And then that is three times the same thing pretty much. And now we got to make a common denominator at the bottom, right? So the common denominator for the denominator. So the numerator is going to give us 3f of x divided by 1 minus f of x. And the whole thing is going to be divided by 3f of x plus I'm going to multiply 1 times 1 minus f of x. And then the denominator of the denominator is going to be the same as the denominator of the numerator. So they're going to cancel out. Obviously, you don't want f of x to be 1 in this case, so on and so forth. There are some limitations, but we'll just skip those. Okay, 3f of x divided by now. 3f of x minus f of x is 2f of x plus 1. And this is f of 3x, therefore, we got the answer. So notice that we were able to write f of 3x in terms of f of x. So that kind of establishes a direct relationship between f of x and f of 3x. Great. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Now, the second method is obviously, you know, somewhat different. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called the second method, right? So let's rewrite f of x again f of x is x over x plus 1, and let's rewrite f of 3x, which is 3x over 3x plus 1. Now, I would like to work with f of 3x, but here I have the f of 3x, right? So how am I going to manipulate it so that I can, you know, make it uh, contain f of x as a variable? So here's what I'm going to do. I, I need to do something different from the first method, so I'm going to flip f of x. Uh, or you can say, I guess, invert. Why do we flip it? Because it is going to give us something nicer, something separable. Well, you could also, you know, do x plus 1 minus 1 and do it that way too. That's just another alternative, but I'd like to do it this way. So anyways, so this is 1 over f of x. And what I can do is I can actually um, separate the right-hand side and write it as 1 plus 1 over x. And from here, I can isolate 1 over x. So this second method, basically, remember the first method was isolating x. 
Now, the second method is isolating 1 over x. So that's the difference. Great. So now 1 over x can be written like this, which is something that I would like to use. How do I use it? Let's see. We can do something similar for f of 3x. So for f of 3x, I can just flip it. And then it'll be separable. And from here, f of 3x, 1 over f of 3x rather, can be written as 1 plus 1 over 3x. But 1 over 3x is basically 1 over 3x, right? Anyways, let's write it that way first. So remember, my goal was to write f of 3x, and I already have it, right? My goal is to write f of 3x in terms of f of x. But I have f of 3x in terms of x. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to replace 1 over x with something. But does f of 3x contain 1 over x? Well, it kind of does. Well, f of 3x doesn't, but 1 over f of 3x does. So here's what I can do. I can separate. Well, I already have it separated. So what I can do is um, I could probably isolate 1 over 3x. Let's go ahead and do it, right? That makes sense, doesn't it? 1 over 3x can be written as 1 over f of 3x and then minus 1. So here, uh, I have 1 over 3x and I have 1 over x. So how can I, how can I put these together? So it's kind of like a system, right? But remember, my goal is to get rid of the x and associate f of 3x directly with f of x. And here's what I can do. 1 over 3x can be written as 1 over x times 1 over 3. And that kind of does the trick, right? Well, here's what I can do. I can replace the 1 over x with this. And that's going to get rid of the x. So let's go ahead and do it. Replace 1 over x with 1 over f of x minus 1. And remember, that's going to be multiplied by 1 over 3. And that is going to equal 1 over f of 3x minus. I know I complicated things, and I'll probably go back and show you an easier path. Let's go ahead and get this done first, if we have time left. OK, so remember, our goal again is to get f of 3x. Um, in terms of f of x. So let's go ahead and add 1 to both sides, but let's distribute the right-hand side first. So this gives me 1 over 3 times f of x minus 1 over 3, and then I can kind of add 1, and that's going to equal 1 over this guy over here. Before we invert both sides, let's go ahead and make a common denominator on the left-hand side. And you know I'm good at complicating things. You know that already, right? Hopefully. Make a common denominator, multiply by whatever is needed, and you're going to get, hopefully, what you need. So this is what I have. And now I can simplify the numerator. That's going to give me 2f of x plus 1 divided by 3f of x. But that is just 1 over f of 3x. Remember, our goal was to get f over f of 3x. And from here, if you just invert both sides, you know, um, it's just going to be the reciprocal. And that is going to be 3f of x divided by 2f of x plus 1. And that's basically uh, the same thing that we got uh, using the first method. And obviously, they should be equal. But let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do it in a probably, in, a, in an easier way to, like, there must be an easier way to do it. OK, great. So now, once I got 1 over x um, as 1 over f of x minus 1, I could actually go ahead and uh, plug it in here, right? So instead of just doing all this stuff, I could just go ahead and replace the 1 over x with this and then just work it out. Pretty much the same thing, but it's probably a little shorter. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.